Hello YouTube, it's been a busy day so far. I, uh, I don't have any orders right now. And uh, last night, church brother Chris came over and we got my bed jacked up a little bit. So that was a good thing. We got that taken care of, that was nice. I'm gonna get under there after I order the fuel pump and just replace everything. But that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is I cleaned out that garage yesterday. I did a lot with it. And I got some of my woodworking tools that I had since I was in Warwick and hadn't done anything with. This bandsaw, I spent about a half hour. I have a new blade on here. It's a half inch blade, skip tooth. Uh, I believe it's six, four or six TPI. It's cutting two by material like butter. It's, it's very nice. I, um, that's a blessing because I won't have to use the jigsaw anymore. So um, the bandsaw is working. It's trued up and it's all running at 90 degrees where it's supposed to. And uh, it's cutting straight, which I've never got it to do before. Just a little bit of adjustment with a little screwdriver. There's the planer, which was used in making this a 90 degree cross cut sled. It's rough, but it's supposed to be. This is so that I can cut the seat slats on the Adirondack chair and just continually make the same cut over and over again. Um, Cause I was doing it freehand on the table saw. And yes, no, you're not supposed to do that. That's a bad thing. That's yeah, I mean, it happens. It's, it is what it is. My wife brought me coffee on the way home today from work. That was nice. Um, but yeah, I've got a nice 90 degree sled now. I have a nice working bandsaw. I have a nice 90 degree sled. The garage is nice and clean. Nice and cleaned out. You guys can't see it, but the bandsaw will go here. The table saw will go here with the router table on top of it and a miter saw on top of the router table. We're getting to the point now where um, we're going to be able to do this production style and it's going to be able to move quicker hopefully let's just hope we get the orders and one more thing and then i will leave you guys alone that's my beer from last night i left it out here uh that's not what i was going to show you these are the bolts from the bed of my truck they are sitting in white vinegar right now i'm going to let them sit in there until it eats off all the uh the rust i'm going to run a wire brush over them and they're going to be good as new. Um, that's the hope anyway. As of right now, all the bolts didn't break and none of the studs on the truck broke. So hopefully we'll get that, uh, we'll get that squared away soon and I, uh, I can start the next phase of this, which is going to be offering in-yard construction of tool sheds. But we'll get there. We'll see where it goes. Just a quick update. Show you my... Uh, my latest stuff that I got together, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope wherever you are, God is with you and that you're comfortable. Thank you.